Hi everyone, Aiden here with the trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Terra Pump Pail Pump for 5 gallon buckets. What this is going to do is attach to your 5 gallon buckets with an integrated lid and allow you to pump a variety of different liquids out of it to separate containers or fuel up anything that you might need to be using this with. Let's check it out. So this is compatible with a variety of different liquids like I mentioned, including but not limited to engine oil, hydraulic oil, gasoline, and diesel. You do want to make sure you abide by what it's approved for because all the internal seals are designed with those liquids in mind. There's other versions of these pumps, some that attach directly to a large drum, that are rated for different liquids, so if you need something like ethanol, you can get a pump that's rated for that. If you are using something that isn't approved for use with the pump, it can cause corrosion of those seals and damage to the pump over time. To get everything set up, we're going to start off with the lid. This is what attaches to the top of the five gallon bucket. We've got these three butterfly screws all around the outside. To get it installed, we want them fully loosened up so that nothing is sticking outward to prevent us from snapping it onto the lip like this. Then we can tighten these down to secure that lid in place. The pump itself has a couple things we probably want to look at before we get it installed. The stainless steel mesh filter at the very bottom to help filter your intake. The intake tube is telescoping so you can loosen this up near the attachment point and actually extend it out so you can see even if we had a taller bucket it'd be just fine. We're not going to need all that today. Right about there is probably going to be good for us. And then the threads up top are what let it thread into the lid. So we're going to just get it set up right here and start attaching it. With everything fully attached, the top of it does swivel around. So if you need to bring the output hose over to whatever you're going to be filling, you can. That top part's going to swivel around and be really easy to use. There's a couple different options with this. The electric version that just plugs into a typical household outlet and the battery powered version. The battery powered version, that battery would just slot in the back right here and be rechargeable. Otherwise though, they function pretty much the exact same way. So for ours today, I'll just plug it in up top and then find an outlet to plug it into to power it. We are gonna use an extension cord for ours just because the cord wasn't quite long enough to reach where we needed to plug it in at. That is one downside of not going with the battery operated version. Once it's plugged in, you can flip this to the on position. You'll hear it start to move. And then we can take our output end and squeeze the trigger to start getting water back into our big drum. Now with that, you can fully squeeze it or just partially to kind of control the flow. And then on the very end, we do have a digital flow meter to show us how much flow we're getting out of it. So as I squeeze it harder, you can see that flow is going up. If you're moving a lot of liquid and know you want it at full blast, just squeeze the handle and rotate this collar up top to hold it in place. I lost a little bit of water there. So you just wanna be cautious of that. Obviously we're just working with water today, so no harm done. But that is the nice thing about using something like this is that you do have a little bit more control over it, especially if you're keeping your hand on the handle here. So this pumps up to 4.5 gallons per minute. And right now ours is empty. So I'll shut it off. It does make a pretty awful noise once everything's drained out of there, but it works really quickly. We are able to drain pretty much a fully filled five gallon bucket. Overall, I'd say this works really well. If you need a way to pump liquids out of a five gallon bucket like this, this is really nice because it's a good custom fit. The lid fits over really snug and nothing's gonna spill out because of that. The nozzle is really nice because we can control the rate of flow. And if you get the version with the flow meter attached, you can see how much it's outputting. I think it's overall really well designed. For me, I would go with the battery operated one just so I'm not tethered to this wall outlet all the time, just making it a lot easier to use around the shop or the farm. Thanks for watching.